Hello once again, lumpies and germs. We are still in the middle of 100%ing Cash Banuka 1, no subtitle, and we're just going through all the gems at the moment. Hopefully, hopefully, I pray to the Lord this will be the last part, because... I'm getting sick of looking at his face at this point. I just want it. I just want it done with. I just want. I just want him. We're in a wrap. Roast Bandicoot. What do you think that would taste like? Do you know what? There's actually nothing I can say about this particular part. So, Manny, do you want to? Do you want to speed this up in three, two, one? Better. Okay, stop speeding up, honey, because she brought up a very good point just then. Uh, are these graves? Is this a mass grave site that we're willingly destroying? Is there something else going on in Crash Bandicoot that we don't know about? Is that a man? Is that a lady? We'll never know because we're we're desecrating their graves. That boulder's really close to me. That actually took me off guard quite a bit. Okay, well I'm done asking that question, so let's speed it up again. Three, two, one, speed up! <laughs> I'm gonna shit. We don't have the gem yet. Oh my god. I just wasted everybody's goddamn time. Okay, well, I know for a fact that there's a key level up here. Hey, look at that. Whole hog. That's what we're doing right now. I think Crash is gonna give the pig his whole hog. Watch. Yeah, he's got a whole hog ready for the hog. So here we are back on Piggy 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 Pigwa on another pig riding level, the only other one in the game. These are really fun. I think there should have been like one more, I think. But in this level, we have to hold the jump button to get over some of the pits because before you just needed to kind of bounce on them and you'll be making the gaps no problem. But now, a bit trickier. So just make sure you hold that jump button and you'll make it. This is going really well. And this is where I die, isn't it? Because I say it's going well. I did it! That was fun! Right, Sunset Vista we've done. Cola Kong we've done. Cortex Power. I think we can do this one. I think it's just the purple gem we don't have. Have we got the blue gem? Yes, we have. We're fine. Okay, let's, let's do this then. Now, if I remember correctly, this level is a nightmare to get the gem on. Because it's got multiple branching directions. Once you know the layout, it's fine, but... To begin with, it's very, very obscure and all over the place and a little bit difficult, especially when the camera does not move back with you when you have to go backwards. But you'll see that as we as we continue. I, do you know what? Yeah, I hit the checkpoint here. See, there's just loads of branching paths everywhere. So you just you just need to try and remember where you've been and where to go and you know all that all that jazz. Excuse me, how did that happen? I was standing behind cover, I'll have you know. Well, that was a glitch, wasn't it? Well, let's test this again. Let's see if that was me or the game, because I stood behind that pillar, and I should not have been hit by a singular bullet, but I was hit by one anyway. Okay, I don't know what that was then. I have no idea what that was. Anyway, let's go back. See, I can, I can barely see what I'm doing. It's really, really irritating. I wish they fixed that. But then I guess that's that's not true to the original game, is it really? So I won't get that checkpoint just yet. I'm going to try and go backwards on myself. Because if I... Yeah, oh, jeez. Oh, there's more branching paths. Okay, as far as I'm aware, this is the beginning of another branching path. Yeah, okay. So we've been down the right version of that. So let's go down the left version of here. Um, I've got to be careful here. I just need, I, but yeah, if I hit all the checkpoint crates, then if I end up doing a really difficult part and then die, I then go back and have to do the difficult part again. So if I just save myself, hopefully do the difficult part in one go, and I should make it. I should be fine. Oh, jeez. Okay. I, sh I shouldn't have done that, should I? I need to get back over. Oh, God. Uh, it's okay. I can, I can do this. I can do this. God, I've, this this level was pretty mean. I forgot how mean this was. This is a pretty mean level. It's a boy level. Okay. Oh god. Okay. So this is our this is our reverse our reverse journey back to that checkpoint we saw earlier. There's probably no other boxes to break except for that checkpoint. Oh, we got that one. Okay. Oh god, I hit a box. 
Okay, maybe I should hit that checkpoint because I don't know what else. I, I can't see what I'm doing there. Oh my god, this is going to take me all day. <laughs> so I think that was where I died. I'm just going to double check and make sure. Because if it was, was it? Oh, jeez, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I might just have to take a risk and say that is where I died. And now the dog's barking. This is what filming is like every day when you own a pet. Wait, what? Oh, he surprised me. Did you hear my surprise? Wait, we didn't come down this way before. Where am I? Where the hell am I? I'm lost already. Oh, God, you've got to be joking. I don't know where I am. Oh, my God, where am I? Where am I? Is this the first part of the level? Is this the beginning? Thanks, Stan. I, that doesn't answer my question, though. Oh, God, I'm lost. I'm, I'm lost. This is it. This is the end, folks. All right, so we went right the first time, so let's go left down here. Right, yep, yeah, okay, yeah, I know where we are now. I think. I hope. Uh, uh. Okay, now I know I don't need to worry about any of these, so let's just get rid of them. Yeah, they've all blown up. Yeah. Okay, so basically, now I know where I messed up. So hopefully, if I just go back a little bit, just make sure that every box has been broken. Um... Wait, okay, I think I think it has, but when there's the green pit of despair, here it is. Okay, yeah, that's okay. I think I'm, I think that's where I'm all caught up to. So I should be able to get the the box gem now. So now I, I basically I just can't die. I can't die. I need to find the next checkpoint and not die. Oh, this is way 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 not fun. <gasps> You're kidding! I've, I've I've messed it up. I can't do this. I can't do it. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Now, if I do this... Let's go. Oh! <laughs> yes, hi one, honey. Yes. Everybody owes me a biscuit. Now I'm going to go and do another th a fumble. I'm going to do a fumble in the dark. Let's go fumbling in the dark, everybody. Oh, this is the one with the, with the naughty. Yeah, here we go. Here's the naughty. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So those are the hidden boxes. There's only 18 to get. Hopefully we can do this all in one go. I say at the beginning of every single stage I ever attempt at Crash Bandicoot. Okay, right. Let's go over here. Oh, jeez. I, I kind of cheated there, but I, I, I don't care. <laughs> to, to be completely frank with you, I don't care. To be Frank, or Paul, or Jim. That's my name. I think I remember this one being a bit of a nightmare to do the time trial of as well. Okay, I got the, I got the checkpoint, so whatever happens, I'm okay. It's a, it's all right. And the, yeah, if I, if I remember correctly, these Aku Aku crates only give you a smidgen over the time that you need in order to complete the, um, to complete the level or get to the next Aku Aku crate. Oh, jeez, now we've got to jump on spiddly spindles. Oh... Oh, how are we going to do this? Well, like that, apparently. What? I'm very confused. Why did that happen? Oh, okay. I, I, what? Okay, so I spun the enemies to get the other Aku Aku, but why did I run out of Aku Aku juice the first time? I don't understand. What did I do wrong? I went as fast as I could. Well, um, obviously there I died, so shut up. Every part up leading up to that moment, I, I, I did everything fine. I didn't stop or anything. It didn't give me enough time. So explain that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, then I'm gonna get hit by the act. Yeah, you you whistle down yeah. It's the noise you make. Spiders don't even make noises, but you do, don't you? Because you're a whistly wimple. That's my new ch children's show I'm working on at the moment, the whistling wimples. The whistling wimples <laughs> got loads of pimples. And they pop the pimples and every pimple they pop is a new adventure they have to go on. And you know, you know how in the Teletubbies they look at their their stomachs and then they go to the real world and they see children. Well, they pop the pimples and children pop out of the pimples, and they start going, "Oh, look at the wimples!" And then, and then the wimples are, are very, very excited about it, and they and they go off and do, go to the farm and you know do things that kids program mascots do.
Wait, how do we get the gem? Oh, no, no, no. We got, we got, we have to get the gem without dying and by using another colored gem platform. That's how this goes. I know your tricks. So if I die, I need to quit. And I mean in real life and in the game. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. I think this is the one that takes you right up to the top of Cortex's tower. And if it is, it's really cool. I, I, I really, I really love that. That, that, um, that view. It's a good view. It's like five-star hotel view. Oh god, I hit an Aku Aku crate too early, which means I'm probably gonna run out of light, which means I'm probably gonna die. And which means I'm gonna have to probably give up. I'm gonna hit the rats in the face. Oh no, I got the Aku Aku crate. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I think we go to the top of the castle here. It's really cool if we do. There he is. Hey, look at that. Purple gem come to me. Oh, I can't go around? I thought we could. Oh, I thought that there was a really nice vista up here. That's really that's really shitty, actually. I thought there was a nice shitty vista. <laughs> now we've got the purple gem, we should be able to go back to the other bloody random level which needed a purple gem. Oh yeah, the mass grave site that we're desecrating. That one. Yeah, we need to go to the boulder level. Let's go all the way back there then, because that's what I love doing in games. I love going through a level select. Okay, let's go. Okay, well now we've definitely got the purple gem. So this should be a cakewalk. As easy as jumping on the grave of your grandmother. I mean, you can say that that's dark or that's, that's insensitive or, oh, Caddy, but my grand just died. Well, yeah, but well, first of all, everyone's grandma dies. That's just, that's just a fact. And secondly, uh, do you see what Crash is doing to these graves? He, he, he's going to hell for this. I hope you realize this. Look, watch, watch them all go. Watch. Where are they? Here, look. So there's Fiona and Paul, and there's Tom and Tim, and there's... I can't think of names very quickly. Why did Fiona come to my head first thing? I, I actually don't know. Oh, sh the kids were watching Shrek 2 yesterday. That's why that name came to my head. It's at times like this where I really wish that, like, as a bonus, like, maybe finish the game 100%. I, I really think they probably should have done this. Finish the game 100%, and then Crash has the abilities he has from Crash 2 or Crash 3, because being able to slide jump through all this stuff would be epic. Like, it would be so much fun. Because in terms of like pure raw platforming, Crash 1 is probably the game that you want in terms of challenge and everything. Because the other games get a little bit simpler in terms of in terms of that kind of stuff. Oh, we're following the Baldy. Where's it? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is pretty cool. Yeah, this this is a pretty part. Yeah, this is an awesome little this is an awesome little secret. I like this. This is cool. Because it's an extra part of a level which you weren't expecting to see in the first place, and it's. It's the only unique time you see anything remotely like it in the game. It's it's really clever. And there's and there's Cortex in the background. <laughs> and we got baby here and baby there. So we've got two babies and daddy at the back. We should be like 99% now, which means we should be ready to finish the game. We've got every gem, 27 out of 26, which means there's bonus um stormy ascent. We have done it, we've done it, guys. The only thing we have left to do now Aww. is go and defeat. Catex. Although what I will do is I'll show you, well we have to do the Great Hall anyway, but I'll show you what the point of the Great Hall was. So this was pretty cool, right? Back in the day, you had to beat the final boss no matter what to get 100%, but the actual 100% ending for Crash Bandicoot is at the end of the Great Hall here. And you need to get every single gem in the game in order to climb this series of platforms which doesn't make any sense. Why is Torna a banner in Cortex's castle? Did he have that recently done or has he had that there the whole time? He built her so that he could do things with her, didn't he? Anyway, so you get, you finish the game 100% and you make it all the way to here. And the, oh, you're kidding. I didn't want to activate the cutscene. I want to just show Torna at the end. In the original game, you could see Torna at the end. So basically, what I'm, what I'm getting at is that you can rescue Torna and beat the game 100% without actually f fighting Cortex, which is really cool. I really like that. So we all, we jump on this poor little eagle and just escape and Cortex is free to do whatever he wants. G Crash, what were you doing just then? So, that, okay, so that's fine. So we did the Great Hall. We've done the, the true ending. So let's do Doctor. Okay, I'm really sorry to dump you in this, Gerard, because you are Mr. Sparkly and we love you. But there was a video you did on Crash Bandicoot 2 years and years ago, and you called him Ned Cortex. So, we have to fight Dr. Ned Cortex now. I missed, I missed Ned's, Ned's blast. Where's Ned? There it is. 
take that, Ned. Does that does that mean in the Sims it's Neo Flanders? Now this is probably the hardest boss in the game in terms of like. Well, I mean, it's 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 not massively difficult, but in in t in compared to the rest of the bosses, it is definitely the most challenging. And I know everyone complains about hit detection and stuff, but I haven't got a problem with it. It's fine. See, look, Ned's flipping around over there. He's he's doing all right. When did we set the castle on fire? I missed that. How did going through the Great Hall set the castle on fire? I'm really, really confused. <laughs> my name's Ned. I'm gonna kill you. I crashed my leg. Uh, get away from my blast. My green blast is very green, and they hit me in the face. Ah, oh, you hit me with my green Ned blast. Oh, he's doing his rapid fire now. Look at that. Oh, I missed the thing. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm nearly there, guys. Nearly there. See, I said that this was the, hard the hardest boss compared to the rest of them in the game. And here I am doing it on my first try when Koala Kong knocked me out a good few times. So there you go. We have officially beaten Cash Banuka 1, no subtitle, because it was the first one. Now that I think about it, I think that the character profiles are only on the Great Hall ending. Ah, that's what happens at the beginning of Cash, Cash Banuka 2 Gringot Steakhouse. This is a much more heroic ending. I like going off into the sunset in a blimp with my blimp. Oh, so we, oh, we, we don't get to see the character port. Okay, well, okay, well, for the, for the lols, for the shits and giggles, let's just go back to the Great Hall and read up on the character's histories. I don't, I completely wasted my time doing that. I thought I'd be able to see that ending by beating the final boss and everything. Oh, just, just ignore me. Karis, just fast forward, please. Happy saw the ruins of Castle Cordens to a resort developer. He then used the proceeds to open a big and tall shop on the island. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Ryu went on to write a well received book through the eye of the vortex, a study eye with two slow. Koala Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal of universal proposals. Currently, he's working on a speech therapy to prove his dictatorship but he beats tribal to Chicago, where he now owns an upper city wide sanitation company. He's saving money for a people girl I can't even read the campaign. After the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Natchez Brio rediscovered his first love, tending... Okay. The world has heard nothing more of Cortex since Crash foiled his pants, but evil genius is the I hope you enjoyed my Cash Banuka playthrough, everybody. We'll do two when the next Bandicoot month rolls around because I don't want to spam everyone's timelines with nothing but Crash Bandicoot. I wanted to do CTR as well, but hey, thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. A complete version of this will be uploaded soon, I'm sure. And peace out. No, that's not good. Peace off. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like that. Lumpies and germs, peace off.